ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer, and I'm so glad you've joined us. Today is Friday, November 17th. We're preparing for the 25th Sunday after Pentecost. Let's take a moment to quiet our hearts and minds as we begin our time of prayer together. Let's pray. Righteous God, our merciful Master, you own the earth and all its peoples, and you give us all that we have. Inspire us to serve you with justice and wisdom, and prepare us for the joy of the day of your coming. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now, let's hear today's scripture reading from the Revelation of John, chapter 16. May the word of God speak to our souls. Then the fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and it was permitted to scorch people with fire. Thus people were scorched by the terrible heat, yet they blasphemed the name of God, who has ruling authority over these plagues, and they would not repent or give him glory. Then the fifth angel poured out his bowl on the throne of the beast, so that darkness covered his kingdom, and people began to bite their tongues because of their pain. They blasphemed the God of heaven because of their sufferings and because of their sores, but nevertheless they still refused to repent of their deeds. Then the sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates and dried up its water to prepare the way for the kings from the east. Then I saw three unclean spirits that looked like frogs coming out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. For they are the spirits of the demons performing signs who go out to the kings of the earth to bring them together for the battle that will take place on the great day of God the All-Powerful. Look, I will come like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays alert and does not lose his clothes so that he will not have to walk around naked and his shameful condition be seen. Now the spirits gathered the kings and their armies to the place that is called Armageddon in Hebrew. Finally, the seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and a loud voice came out of the temple from the throne, saying, It is done. Then there were flashes of lightning, roaring, and crashes of thunder, and there was a tremendous earthquake, an earthquake unequaled since humanity had been on the earth. So tremendous was that earthquake. The great city was split into three parts, and the cities of the nations collapsed. So Babylon the Great was remembered before God, and was given the cup filled with the wine made of God's furious wrath. Every island fled away, and no mountains could be found. And gigantic hailstones, weighing about a hundred pounds each, fell from heaven on people, but they blasphemed God because of the plagues of hail, since it was so horrendous. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Now, having heard God's word, let's lift up our concerns and thanksgivings to God, knowing that he hears and cares for us. I invite you to join me in prayer, either silently or out loud. Even though we may be far apart, we're united right now in prayer and in the presence of the Holy Spirit. So let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Holy Catholic Church, 
the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. On this day that the Lord has made, let us pray for the church, the world, and all people according to their need. For the unity of the church in witness and proclamation of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For the peace and stability of all peoples and for the leaders of the nations, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For places of work, education, and leisure, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For a blessing on our homes, for our relations and friends, and all whom we love, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. For the sick and suffering, and all who minister to their needs, let us pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. Let us commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for Daily Prayer. We hope this time has been a source of encouragement and inspiration for you. If you enjoyed this program, please share it with a friend or family member. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. And if you're interested in supporting our ministry, you can make a donation at our website, Good Shepherd life.org. Remember, no matter what you may face today, God is with you and you are loved. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.